Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's video is going to be featuring the brand new mini kit from Uniquely Creative. This is the spring. Let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so today we are going to be working with the brand new Uniquely Creative um, stamp and die mini kit. This is called Spring. It has these two gorgeous little bears, and I know it's really hard to see, uh, but it's got two gorgeous little bears and this little sort of um, stand, so it could be like a cake stand or a lemonade stand. I think I'm going to use it as a lemonade stand. I'm thinking I'm going with a very lemon yellow and blue kind of thought for today. So I'm going to start off with stamping out my images first. So I'm just grabbing my Misty and I'm just going to pop those images down. So we're going to have the big sort of stamp, not stamp set, um, the cart we can grab the two bears, so there's a, a mama bear and a baby bear. So we'll put the mama bear and the baby bear. I'm also going to grab, there's this little uh, wooden crate. And grab the little bee, and I'm going to grab the lemonade. There's also some plants in here, and a couple of cakes. Just for today, I'm not going to use those ones, but I think they would be very, very cute. So let's pick them up pop this back in. So I'm going to grab a bit of my Express It blending card. This to me is just the, the best thing to put Copic images on still. Um, so let's put those down. So now I'm just going to grab my Hero Arts Intensive Black Ink. I just really like this ink. I think it's really good. But any black ink that is marker friendly would be fine. So stamp that out. We'll go ahead and put that down. I'm also going to use my little scrubber tool. I don't really know what it's called, but I think it's a hockey puck uh, to sort of stamp that out. I'm going to do this twice just to make sure I get a good impression. So I'm kind of tossing up whether to do grey bears or brown bears. I feel like brown is the 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 more logical choice but I'm going to be using a bit of brown with the cart and some other bits so I'm thinking I may do grey bears so I'm um, for that I'm going to grab some warm grey so I'm going to grab W3, W4 and W5 and I'm going to use those to colour in the bears and then I'm going to come back and we'll do the box and the cart so I'll do the, ba the mama bear with you guys and then I'll do the baby bear on its own so this is W5 so I'm just going to put this anywhere that I want like it to be really dark. So for this one I'm going to go sort of underneath her neck a little bit, at the bottom of the apron, and then just a little bit around her muzzle, and a little bit underneath her hat. So there's really not a lot of the W5. And then I'm going to come in with the 4 and just blend that out, and then come in with a W3 for the highlights. So then for the muzzle, I'm going to grab W1, but I'm also then going to grab W9, because I want to use W9 for the nose. So the 9 is going to be the really dark nose, because I want that to be really dark. And then just, I, I want this to be grey, I don't want it to be white, but I just want to just bring it a little bit, but I don't really want to do any shading or anything, I just want to have it as grey. Alright, there's my bear. I'm going to leave it for now. I may come back across and do another run of W3 just to intensify the saturation and just help it blend. But I'll go do the other bear in the meantime and then come back. So I'll leave it recording and I'll just speed it up. But the baby bear is going to be coloured the exact same way. There's not going to be any difference at all. There just might be a little bit less shadowing with him. I might do slightly less of the W5. Um, but I really like the way that bear looks. I think she's really cute. I 
I'm going to add in that's just a little bit different for the baby bear is the baby bear has his tummy um, exposed, whereas the mama bear didn't. So I'm going to use that really light combination for that, so the W1, but I'm just going to add in just a little bit of W2 just around the outside just to give it a little bit more. I just feel like it needs it. The W2 and the W4 are very new to me. I've generally stayed with just the odd numbers, so the 1s, 3s, 5s, 7s. I'm actually enjoying having the even numbers. I never thought I'd need them. It's the completionist part of me that needed to get the new, get the even ones, but I think they're really cute. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more, well, just another layer just of W3, just on Mama Bear's face. I just doesn't quite look as evenly blended as I'd like, whereas I think all the others kind of do. Mm, nah, while we're here, I'm just going to do another run over her arms as well, just to keep it evenly saturated. I'm happy with the baby bear though. No, I'm not. Sometimes you just need to let the Copic sit to just get it to blend itself together and, and sometimes you just need to go back over the top. I always find the second run, no, you never have to be quite as careful. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and colour the rest of the images. I'm getting my colours from here. So this is one of the papers included in the kit. It's this gorgeous lemon. So I'm using the yellow and the green. That's sort of what I want to do because I'm going to do the yellow for the lemonade. Um, I haven't quite worked out where I'm going to use this paper yet, but I know I will. So I'm going to try and match up my yellow and my green. So I'm just grabbing my hex chart. I'm just going to have a look and see. I think the yellow is 11 and 13. I think that's an easy one, considering it's called lemon yellow. That kind of does give it away. Uh, and then the green needs to be a little, more, a little bit more of a pale green, but not a cool green. I think, I don't know. I'm going to go G43 with a little bit of G21. And I think they'll be the sort of the colours that I'll go with. I'm just debating if I'm going to bring in some blue because I feel like I need a third colour. Um, but I'll come in with that afterwards. I'm also going to do the little box. I'm going to do that just in some browns. I'm just going to do E27, E25. 20s are my general favourite of the, the E's anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of this and I'll be right back. everything that is simple so the lemonade is really simple that's going to be yellow the B is really simple it's going to be yellow and my cart's really simple it's going to be blue the part that now I'm getting not stuck on is I need to find the color combo that's going to go here and I am I am leaning a little bit towards that green and then I just don't know what color is going to go with the green I'm leaning towards blue because to me blue and green 
That's when they say blue and green should never be seen. But at the same time, I, I, I like blue and green. The other part of me is thinking I'm going to go green and yellow and just see what that looks like. So let's just do, we'll do this first one together. So we'll do the first stripe. So the way I like to do big stripes like this is just the darkest colour at the top and the bottom. So it's G, uh, G43 and then just blend it together with the lightest. This is G21. I actually think I might need to bring in a lighter one. Because to me it, it would be hitting like on the top. Um, I need a slightly lighter one. So what have I got here? G21, G43. I'm going to bring in YG61. Which doesn't look very good in the... Ah, that's perfect. Uh, it doesn't look as nice in the the colour of the cap, but it will look beautiful here. And then I'm going to... I'll do the yellow. So I did bring in uh, Y15, which is cadmium yellow, which is a slightly darker yellow for the, the lemonade. So I'm just going to continue with that here. So it's the cadmium yellow... And then Y13, which is the lemon yellow, and then we'll bring in the, the pale yellow. I think that's nice. And then what I'll do is I'll make this white. I think that'll look really pretty. So having the green, the yellow, and the white all together. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. I'm also then going to use just the green and the yellow to do the highlights on the bears, so the hats and, his, and their aprons. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. So the last thing I'm just going to bring in, I'm going to bring in just a little bit of a neutral grey. So I'm going to bring in N N1, sorry, and that's just going to be to do a little bit of shading on the awning. I'm also going to bring in a pink. I just need another pop. I feel like there's too much, too much plain, or just too much yellow and green. I just need to bring in a pop of colour. So I'm going to grab, it needs to be really pale. I'm going to grab R20. R20, where are you? There you are. I'm also just grabbing R11 really quick because I want to use R11 just to give these guys some cheeks. And just to do a little bit on Baby Bear's ears. And then I'm just going to use the R20 just as one. I'm not going to... I'm, I'm not bringing in another colour to blend with. I'm just going to just use 20. So I'm going to use a little bit on the two glasses. And then I'm going to use it for Baby Bear's heart. I will blend. I will. I'm going to use the two. Actually, no. I'm going to bring in R21 as well. I wasn't going to, but just to bring in a little bit more color because it was just missing something. It just looked a little bit too flat with just those colors. So that N1 is going to go down right along the bottom, and then I'm just going to bring in my colorless blender just to feather it out a little bit so it doesn't look quite so stark. I could have used N0 and that probably would have gotten away with it, but I just wanted a bit more colour there. The good thing is with the blender you don't have to be particularly careful or anything. We're just trying to really buff out that colour. Alright. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I did just use a little bit of BG000, quadruple zero, just on the glass, just to give it a little bit more, and the bees, because they needed a little bit. Um, I am just looking at that yellow, and I don't, don't like that. So I'm just, this is the 11, so the, the lightest of them. 
And I'm just coming back in over the top again just to give that a secondary blend. I did draw in some pleats on her skirt for a little bit of extra dimension. I just think it just needs another coat. It should be fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these out with the matching dies that come with the kit. What I love about this one, this, this particular one, is it cuts out the window here. So if you wanted to, you could turn this into a shaker. It doesn't have to be just a, a flat image. Uh, the only reason I'm not is because when I did my design team cards for this lot, um, I've already done a shaker. So for that reason, I'm going to going to not have a shaker for this one, but it would look really cute as a shaker as well because you've got that inbuilt window. So I'm just putting this tape down on my pants a little bit because this is a little too sticky. It's been hurting my paper when I've been using it on other things. So I'm just using it, using my pants to take off a bit of the tack. I'm just going to run this through the die cut machine and I'll be right back. of our little images here so I'm thinking I'm gonna have maybe mama either sitting behind or in front I haven't quite worked that out yet and then we've got the crate which we can either put the lemonade on the crate or we can put the lemonade on the stand we've also got our little bear who can be jumping and our little bee so we've got plenty of options here so for that reason, I want to do a slimline card today because I just feel like when you've got too many choices that you need to stack your card up. So I'm going to use the Uniquely Creative uh, Slim Stitched Nesting Rectangle. And then a piece of my new cardstock. This is that new one I got from Paperstock, the Smooth... Oh, I do know what it's called. I'll link it down below either way. I haven't used it for blending or anything yet, so this is going to be the first time. But it is a 300 pound, like 300 GSM cardstock, so it's pretty thick. So I'm going to give it a shot for this one, and we'll see. I think I'll end up just using this for bases, but I just want to give it a try. So we're going to have a go here. So I'm just trimming this out. I could have used my trimmer. I should have used my trimmer. I didn't have it handy, and that doesn't fit in my little trimmer so it's just going to get cut out by hand for this one and we're just going to run this through the die cut machine part about this that I'm struggling with a little bit and it's, I think I need new plates I have new plates I just I don't want to use them it sounds ridiculous but I don't um, I keep getting these funny little marks when I run things through my die cut machine it's kind of annoying me you use the new plates and it wouldn't be a problem but anyway so I'm just giving us a quick rub off, just try and get rid of anything that's there. making stencil the the clouds and grass so I'm thinking of doing like two layers of grass and then going up into the sky and then we'll have the sentiment up in the sky that'll sort of be where it is so we'll have the the lemonade stand sitting there with mama bear definitely standing behind it because otherwise it's not going to be enough room then maybe have the crate sitting up behind it with with baby bear so obviously you need to put the grass in here and then we'll have the little bee up in the sky and then we can have our sentiment at the top so if we're going to do that the grass seed sort of needs to be about there-ish okay 
So I'm just going to use a bit of this tape that I have sitting here just to hold this in place while I grab everything out. That's why I always like having little bits of washi tape just hanging around my desk. There we go. Just grab the blending brushes and I'm gonna um this is a very springy kind of card so I'm gonna stick with mowed lawn and then just maybe a little bit naturally no I'm gonna do shabby shutters which is a little bit lighter I'm actually gonna grab my other green blending brush here it's a little bit lighter and then maybe just put a little bit of mowed lawn or maybe peel paint over the top just to give it a different sort of shade because this green that we've used is not a really bright green it's kind of a dull green whoops I just realized what I'd done then I've forgotten to put any more tape on the back let's hope that when I pull this up in a second it's not horribly not stenciled so I'm just going to bring in that peel paint, which is just a little bit darker, just for at the top, and then I can blend the two together to kind of give me a nice dimensional feel. And see how that's just a sort of light, slightly paler green? And this is where then we're going to bring in a bit of that blue. So we're going to do that as the first one, because I don't want to get ink anywhere else. Let's have a look. You yeah, know, that's fine. So I'm just being gentle as I pull that up. Okay, so that's where that's going to sit. And then the second hill we'll sort of have running this way. And then, actually no, it needs to be up higher. Yeah, about there, because that's where Baby Bear is going to sit. So exactly the same thing. It'll look a bit weird right now, because it looks like we're doing two sort of runs of green. But it will look better in the end, I promise. And do one more little hill. I wasn't planning on it, but I feel like it just needs another small one. So you've got this big one in the middle, and then you've got this slightly smaller one there. I think that's just going to look really cool. And I do, I do prefer to do things in threes. That's just the way that my brain thinks. So we'll go with that. Try that again. So we've got, got the cart there with Mama Bear, little thing of lemonade. Whoopsies, stuck to my finger for some stupid reason. And then we're going to have the box there. That's better. It's just giving it a bit more height. And then whether or not we put Baby Bear sitting on there, I might actually bring the lemonade up to Baby Bear. I just think that looks cooler. And then we'll have the B up the top. Might end up just being a bit. Do we need one more run of grass? Let's do one more because we can. lost my crate there but I found it so I have the crate up there with the lemonade I have the bee up in the corner and then we'll put some sentiment over the side okay so now I just need to do the clouds actually hold on before we do that I'm going to clean the stencil off first and just put that back roughly it doesn't have to be perfect but just close to where I had it and also grabbing just a bit of scrap cardstock I'm just going to put a little bit of splatter of the peel paint which is the darker of the two so I'm actually just going to do just one quick spritz of maybe two quick spritzes of water and I'm leaving that there just for a second because I want it to really give me some reaction
also just going to add just a little bit of white paint. I'm just going to dry this off first, but I'm going to add some white paint on here as well. Um, if you saw my video, oh, it was a bit of a while back now. I think it was when I did the Mermaid Shores thing. Um, I've been trying to pick up the leftover ink onto pieces of cardstock to use as backgrounds. So that's what I'm just going to do here really quickly. Just pick up whatever's there. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be a wonderful background. I'll make it into something later, but it's so I don't waste as much ink. And then we'll just go ahead and splatter this with some white. Actually, I'm going to leave the white until after because I'm going to use that again to do the sky. Pick up just a couple of spots that were still a bit more wet. So I'm going to do the sky really quick. I'm just going to use tumble glass for this one. I feel like anything else is just going to look silly. So I'm going to go ahead and do tumble glass and I'll be right back. Now I actually did that just a little bit differently than I'd normally do it. Usually I'd go a bit harder and have more of a colour. I'm having a really, I just want to do a really light coverage this time. Nothing, nothing big at all. And then I'm just coming back over with just whatever's left over on the brush and just giving that just a slight run over the top. Okay, and then from there for the grass, I'm just going to cover it with this sort of little bit of paper here. So all my splatters will be up here. I think that'll be fine. Let me grab that bit that I had before. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Little bit of splatter with the blue. I'm not going to do water splatters this time though, but I will add a little bit of white over the whole thing in just a minute. down on top of this just for a second just to try and flatten that out a little bit I have used it, it it's not warping and it's not wet or anything but it is rolling up just a little bit that will sort itself out as we go along but just to try and help all right last thing I'm going to do really quickly before we start sticking these down is just grabbing my score tool and I'm just going to rub these really gently on the back it's something that the Express It card does. It sometimes makes my uh, images a little bit more dimensional than I want them to be. And I would like these to be just a little bit flatter, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm just pushing down really gently on the back of them. And that way it'll flatten them out just a bit. I will also put some... Um, white gel pen highlights on here in just a minute. The other thing I'm going to do first though is just check the sentiment sheet just to see what I've got because I'll I might use some of these. Ooh, I might do to the sweetest friend I might. Okay so we've got our little cart there. I'm just putting it up a little bit higher than perhaps I had it before. And we'll put Mama Bear standing in there. Something I'm so glad I did. When I did her hat, I actually left out the darker shade. Because I was a little bit worried about where it was going to sit in comparison with everything else. And I actually think I've been very clever in doing that. Because now it looks like it's a different colour, which is good. And we've got little baby bear and the lemonade. And then we'll put Mr. B up the top, who I forgot to flatten. I love that little bee. Um, so I'm going to do two sentiments here I'm going to do the um, to the sweetest friend hope all your birthday wishes come true so I'm grabbing out the die that cuts this out and I'm just going to run it straight through the die machine and then we can use the trimmer to pull to cut the um, the one that says to the sweetest friend so I'm just making sure that that's straight and just sticking that down with a little bit of that tape that was left over run that through might do sending warm hugs and hunch and sunshine but the sweetest friend I'm going to put up the top here as sort of a, a cascading sentiment I don't know if that makes sense so 
I'm just grabbing my trimmer. I'll just trim off the bits on the end first because I know I don't need those. And we'll do to the and sweetest and friend. So I'm just lining that up. And I have to just cut a little bit off the edges to sort of make it look okay. So there's a little bit too much on the end of friend, so I'm just going to put that in and, and trim it to try and make it look a bit more even. And the same thing on the toother. I'm going to go ahead and stick all of these down. I'm going to use a little bit of foam tape behind the crate and the bear, but I'm not going to put any behind Mama. Actually, I might put just a little bit behind Mum just so that her head sits forward, as silly as that sounds. So I'm going to use a bit of glue. Use liquid glue for this part just to put her the bottom down. Oh. Hold on, no, I'll do the gel pen in just a sec. So we'll put her in there. Can actually have her over in the middle a bit more because we're not using the lemon, the lemonade, sorry, on that. So she's gonna have her head sticking up just a little bit. And then when I put her down, I'll put a little bit of foam behind her head so that everything else lays flat, but she sits up a bit higher. So I'm just grabbing some of my foam squares, these are my uniquely creative ones. I'm just going to pop these on behind all the bits that I want. And then to finish this card off, I'm going to do two more things. First one is I feel like it needs a little bit of black. And so a little bit of black behind here. This is just plain black paper. There's nothing fancy about this one. Um, I'm just going to stick that down behind this one. So just using glue tape. So just glue tape all around the edges. And this is just a full A4 sheet. And so I'm just going to put it right into the corner. This is leaving the smallest little border. And that's the point. I only want this to be a very skinny kind of edging. Now the problem I'm having is that I don't think that my cardstock is straight. It's not. Okay, so to kind of hide that, I can still do it, but I'm just going to have it using the other edge, and then when I cut down the other one, I can kind of hide the fact that it's actually not. It's actually not square. Whoops. It's all right. No one will ever notice but me. So bringing in the trimmer. And just getting that close little cut. Yep, happy. This side, I'm going to have to be a bit more careful. Because I'm going to have to make it look straight even though it's not. Which is going to be tough. Actually, I'm just 
just going to do this. So thankfully I hadn't pushed too hard. Those dots haven't adhered yet. Or well, if they have, they haven't adhered much. I'm just going to trim this so that this is straight because it's not at the moment and it'll just look weird, I think. So I can line that up. It's not cutting any of that. But it's just cutting that bit that wasn't straight. You do kind of notice it, but I think it will be less obvious than when I do it this way. I'm going over the other side. I don't have to. I could go straight back where I was before, but just don't want to accidentally get in the wrong spot. And we'll just trim that edge down. So a nice skinny little border. Okay, and then that'll go onto the card base. So because I've got that extra little border there, the card base that I do is, need, is going to need to be a bit wider. So I'm going to end up using a bigger piece of cardstock, but that's okay. So I want another tinsy, tinsy, tinsy little border around the edge. So I'm going to score it there. Where's my scoring tool gone? Last but not least, we're going to just come in and put those white gel pens in. I probably should have done them before. What I'm going to do, I've got this tinsy little bit of foam left. I'm going to cut it. Oh, actually. I actually got this even smaller part left over from the, the sentiment. It just needs a little bit of stability behind her hand there. No, it's not high enough. It needs to be the other bit. And then just as one extra little thing, I'm grabbing the sparkle brush. Make sure I've got some running in that. Yep. And I'm just going to put a little bit of sparkle onto the heart on the baby bear and onto the flower on mama. So basically anywhere there was pink. And there is where I'm going to leave. That's better. Oh, I really like that. I like the glossy on the, on the lemon. That actually worked really nicely. So there we go. That is my card using the new spring collection from Uniquely Creative. I love being on the design team for this. It just makes me really happy. I like the simple background. I like that there's sort of some dimension there. And I actually, I was a bit worried about the sentiment. But I actually think it's ended up looking really, really nice. So I hope you guys think so too. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out the Uniquely Creative blog for lots more wonderful, wonderful projects from the team using this kit. Don't forget to check out my social media as well for lots of other uniquely creative posts. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.